Oh, what a weekend. weekend. Is that chat away from YouTube? <laughs> so it would appear that there's a bit of a desire for a Reading 2022 vlog. I remember around Christmas, you were like, it's nearly done. It's going to be uploaded like in a week or something like that. I guess better late than never, right? Excuse me, you were in a vlog last year. Shut the f up. So without further ado, this story starts in Brisbane, Australia, August 2022. Right, the journey is about to start. The doom cloud of stress and anxiety of travel is above me very much. But you know what? It's going to be great and I can't wait. Reading Leeds, 2022. Come at me, bro. The queue started. The worst part of the weekend is underway. But alas, I'm all the way back by like, this tree here. RL 2022, year 14. It's 11 o'clock in the morning. I don't think they're going to open for another three hours. Back in the happy place. It was me and my little brother Will. I've been going to Reading and Leeds with Will for, I think this was his ninth year. He is my ultimate RL buddy. He's walking across his bridge. Yeah, you are some bad as a motherfucker. <laughs> Wednesday night, we've just been out in town with one of my best friends. One of the best Wednesdays I've ever had. It was hard, it was hot, it was humid, it was sticky, it was disgusting to set up tents, but we got it done and then we headed into town. And I have to say, it's one of the best things that we've ever done. Really great. So, we're heading back to Kent now. And that, boys and girls, is a wrap on day one. First night, always, always a struggle. It's always the worst because everyone's so excited and have been drinking so much. But we've got three. I feel alive and I'm ready for the day. We're off into town to go and make this duo a three. I think there might be a Guinness that's Please. needed. <laughs> How many days have you been drinking for, Jack? <laughs> it's your 14th year of Reading, and to celebrate it, you've done 14 days of drinking. I can't, yeah. So today you've come dressed as a cheater. <laughs> This is Cam. He's the newest member of the RNL crew. I think he's solidified himself as a as a forever member at this point. I met Cam the first time that I moved to Australia. He lived in the flat above me and he's we had many many a boozy evening out. I didn't bring a towel out with you me! Didn't observe it. We have to just be lovers. Not fighters. appreciate the, uh, the finesse of, of such fine garments. Oh, After meeting him in town, we headed back into the campsite and went straight to the co-op to go get supplies. And the woman in the fucking co-op said, finally, someone I don't have to ID. Bitch. Thursday night, standard practice. You head straight into the arena to go and get like a feel for it. And it was at this point I realized just how old I was. I'm Jack Webb. From Jack Wade Movies It Club. Who are you excited to see? Uh, Frank Carter goes to Hollywood. Right, yeah? Yeah, so when are you going to come? Well, relax. Yeah, when are you going to do, do it? Don't do it. When are you going to come? <laughs> come, who are you excited to see this weekend? The Arctic Monkey. Looks at Marty Bum and Dolores and Adolescent. It's Friday, which is the first day of music, just on our second night. The energy's high, but not as high as it was on Wednesday, which is always great. Our fourth and final member is en route. He's gonna be landing in about five or 10 minutes. Fourth and final member of our crew comes with my best friend, Mr. Smokey Joe. Smokey's gone to, I think, four or five Reddings with me in the past. These days, he doesn't have the legs that he used to, bless his little heart. Finding his way to the campsite because he knows exactly where to go. True veteran. We're gonna have a nice catch up, grab some beers, and then it's straight in for Frank Carter. That first set of the weekend is becoming somewhat legendary. Frank Carter was the best way to blow the cobwebs away for the start of the festival. Next up for us, beer time. We headed over to the tap house, dipped in to see a little bit of everyone you know on the dance stage. But it was really the other main stage that I was excited for, for a band that I've been following for a long time. I was so excited to finally see Wallow. <laughs> Take a while, 
dying around the festival site, it's just one of my favourite things to do. And stumbling across Dead Letter this year was an absolute highlight for me. We spent the afternoon dipping around the arena, getting beers, getting seltzers, checking out some bands. Circle Waves were great, nipped over and saw a little bit of All Time Low. The first dilemma for us came with, do you go see Lil Sims on the main stage, or do you trust in me and go see a tiny little band on the introducing stage? It was a real split, and it's one that I'm really glad that we did, because pre skate number one were amazing. They split out this week, so I guess at least I finally got to see them. None of us were really a fan of Megan The Stallion or Dave, but we did need a headliner. We needed something to really cap off our first day. And so Glass Animals for us really became our Friday headliner. There was this moment as, where, as I, I think I'd just gone to the toilet or go out to the bar, and I was walking back to the stage. They're playing Gooey in the black background, and the sun is setting, and the sky is brilliant. You can just see the sea of people. And when they played Heat Waves, that was one hell of a moment. That's our first day of music done. I might go get one more beer. Mm. This one. It's Saturday and we're up early this morning to go check out Police Car Collective and Wargasm. It's all about getting in early to get as much of the bands as possible. You pay so much money for the ticket, you might as well take advantage of it. I don't know, one of those moments in front of the BBC in introducing stage with a band called Corella, who seems like they're growing at a really nice rate. Let's see it, people in front of them, big support, big local support. <laughs> We're back at the tab house by this point and we get the alert through that Loyal Kana is doing a secret set. So we quickly grabbed our pints to go watch. Expecting this. And everything I break, I hate the way that you were saying I'll be great. Straight, let me tell you what I love. But what we actually got was this. I'm just glad that he's playing this year. Let's put it that way. A little plug here for the WTF episode if you don't know who Loyal Kana is. We decided to call it a day, call it quits, cut our losses, because the Saturday was about this run of shows. And the best way to start it was with Enter Shikari. Now, Enter Shikari always do amazing at Reading and Leeds. They've got a wonderful following in history with this festival. And they put on a hell of a show. Even if there was a slight weird little cut off when Rao was in the middle of doing a rant about Thames Water. Anyway. It was great regardless. Yeah. Enish Curry done. Next up was Fontaine's DC over on the other main stage. So in a little bit of a stampede, we managed to get ourselves over there. I just remember them being so loud. And then it was that amazing set from Wolf Alice. It was one that all of us were really excited to see. I can't wait to see a headline in the future. They're definitely on route. Hey Cam, say something funny to the camera. Uh, I would have sex in a bush with a bad boy. Yes. It can't possibly peak this. Of course it can't because Bros is Bros. And it's the epitome of Wolf Alice. It's fantastic. Absolutely oh, outrageous. Do you know what happened, Jack? Yes. Uh, Last One on Earth came on. Oh my god. And William over there put me on his shoulders. And we're just going to cut to a shot of that. <laughs> Well, the other part is that you had two cameras in your hands, but your eyes were full of tears, so you couldn't see what you were That's doing. That's also true, yeah. <laughs> so I had a little bit of a weep. 
Philip? Absolutely. Um, Will, Will, thoughts on Will Palace? The run of shows on that Saturday on the main stages was absolutely brilliant. Bring Me the Horizon was surprisingly good. I knew they were good, but they really blew me away. And also the special guests. That was a pretty exciting moment. Can you make some noise for Ed Sheeran? So, let's give you one more bit for the evening. Maybe two, but the, uh, the rush from Bring Me is about to finish and it is going to be biblical. The hype for AM is unreal. And that was us for the Saturday. We wrapped up, back to camp, couple nightcaps, some good sleep. Sunday came with its struggles. Sunday is always the hardest day. What we usually do is we pack up in the morning, we take our stuff home. Finding the motivation to get back and go into the festival is always really hard. We went in to go see Willow, who I thought in the end was just a little bit entitled especially when she was going on about the whole like you are love we are love come on mate but then when denzel curry played oh my lord the energy was through the fucking roof the but every festival comes with its wind down and every story needs its part where it kind of it's just quiet moments, and unfortunately for us, that came on the Sunday this year. We saw some great music, don't get me wrong. Run the Jewels, amazing. Will got to see Crawlers, who he thought was great. Courting put on this amazing show. Let's go. But I guess that it's at this point I kind of realised that it's not always about the music at these festivals. Don't get me wrong, like there's the heartbeat of the festival. It's what gets you excited for the year. The thing that fuels the flame. But for me, some of my favourite takeaway moments from this year was just hanging out with my friends. Five days of completely ridiculous behaviour. And so when I started filming this video, I thought it was just a son of vlog for running and leave and sharing the, the experience of watching the bands that I went to go see. But as I started to edit this, I've realised actually this is more of a story of the importance of friendship and the funny moments that right, you have. Wait, when we're fucking 74 in this, when we're fucking 75. Nice, because that's topical because the Arctic Monkeys played yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> and so I think I want to dedicate this video to the crew. Will, Smokey and Cam. We always have a fucking brilliant time. Cameron. Yes. We've ended the weekend. We have. It's time to go home. It is. How are you feeling? Do you know what I'm feeling? I'm feeling depressed. Oh no, how come? Because this year has gone, has gone quick. Too quick. And we've ended with the 1975, which don't get me wrong, have turned me on to them. But it's, it's gone too quick this year. It's gone far too quick. There we go. Running in Leeds 2022, the vlog presented to you in August. 2023. <laughs> My apologies. I'm very, very excited for this year and I hope everyone else is too. Right, I'll see you in a bit. Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs>